What's good, Sumolings? This is Doc with AppSumo, and today we're going to be talking about podcast.co. Now, we're going to be talking about who this is best for, why you should be using this platform right now, and then also how you can be using this to expand your brand and also how you can have greater authority in your industry. So let's get it. Okay, as always, guys, make sure that you go to appsumo.com slash podcast co to get this deal before it's gone. Now, we're going to be talking about, first of all, who is this for? This is for ones that are trying to build their audience or they're just trying to, to have a podcasting career. Now, the reason I want to make that distinction is I feel like some people uh, feel like it has to be all or nothing. Like either I'm going to make money being a podcaster or I just won't start a podcast at all. But if you position your podcast the right way, that allows you to be the authority in your niche that allows you to get the best kind of guest stars in your industry and that levels up your own brand or business. So make sure that if you haven't thought about using podcasts because it's too hard or the learning curve is too much, this is the platform for you to get started, okay? So we're gonna be talking about why you should be using podcasts podcast.co anyway, because there's Anchor, there's Transistor. Let's not play. There's tons of other platforms out there. The reason I like this platform, one of the best, is the onboarding and how easy it is to get started. Now, you could go with others, but just the onboarding sometimes is a little bit um, haphazard or it takes into consideration ones that have been doing podcasting a long time. So it's harder to know what to do next. But As you can see, once you get this product, the onboarding is spot on. Uh, The UI UX is very nice. The, The design is immaculate. And also they have tons of great blog articles to get started. So let's get right into the platform. Now, after you get it, you purchase it on AppSumo, they're gonna onboard you. And then once you put in your details and the the podcast you want to do, this is the screen that you're taken to. Now, here it allows you to get uh, a crash course of how to get started, uh, you know, a book that you can buy, and then also how you can start make, um, making money. But um, it, it's just super clean how you can get started. Even after you have your first um, podcast made, all you do is basically click that And then it's telling you how to upload. And after you upload it, you can share it. You can do a bunch of things. Now, one thing I will say when you get started, and I was talking to their team about this, I like how it's giving you so many easy things, like easy wins to get started. The only thing that I I kept getting questions about from people, uh, some people were confused if they could record natively on this platform because some uh, some other services um, allow you to do that. Here, you can only upload. So what are some of the ideas to do so? Well, you can use Audacity, GarageBand, whatever. And they had an article, how you break this down, how you can use Audacity. This is a great article that teaches you step-by-step. Step. And then also there's a YouTube video that teaches you the same thing uh, that's you know podcast.co branded. It's from their uh, channel. What I wish they had was because I wish they had this on the front page for you to get started, for you to already have the options of having this blog or having these links to videos right there without me needing to search. Because um, the talking to the team, they were saying that this is for either beginners or intermediate, kind of like in between. Well, if that's 50% of your audience or a large portion, you want it to be as easy as possible. And um, I, this is just my experience, but multiple people kept asking me like, but how, what do I do next? And I'm like, just find the article. But it would, if I've already got the crash course offering the book and all this stuff, I would just add one more tab, like how to get started, how to record right now as a button or a call to action on this page. Other than that, I love this experience. And um, actually there's going to be uh, a section after this review video, you'll actually see we did a challenge when I was in the office, I was trying to see how fast could I create a new podcast from scratch starting with like creating the theme song, creating the episode and all those things. So you'll actually see in, uh, in the space that I'm in, uh, (laughs) we have a music producer that is also here. And so I just walked up and I'm like, I'm doing this project for podcast.co. I need a theme song. And, uh, someone started singing and they recorded it right there. And then you'll see that at the end of this video. But again, uh, and then I used it on, on audacity 
uploaded it, all that kind of stuff. So again, very easy to use. That's the only thing that I would say. Now, uh, the last part of this video is like, why would you want to use this or case studies of how you can use this with your brand? Well, if you're a marketing agency, if you're a brand advisor or consultant, you can use this to um, allow yourself to have a voice, to have a mountain to speak upon about your methodology or the people you work with that allows you to now have greater authority in your in your niche. The other thing is you can use it as a position to bring other people on that now allows you to um, basically get that halo effect. So if there's someone that you've always wanted to work with, but you haven't, but they they say, no, uh, you know, it's not a good time, but you can invite them to your podcast. That still has a great effect on your brand. Also, if you're looking to speak or you're, you're, you're trying to go on the circuit where you're going to be at conferences, a lot of times when you're positioning yourself as a keynote or someone that's going to be there for, you know, the fireside or whatever kind of um, talk that you would be giving, it's really hard if you don't have content to show that you can be proficient in whatever you want to talk about, right? So you can use this podcast, your podcast, as a trailer, as showing what you're, what you can accomplish, uh, your voice, so they can really see either your humor or your your uh, your expertise on display, and it's a lot easier for them to then co-sign for you to get onto that platform. Also, too, what I do is uh, we record the podcast as a video. And then we strip the audio and then have it as the audio version. But also if I'm recording it as a video, now if I'm sending it out to um, you know a conference or I want to speak at, now they have an idea of what I sound like, what I look like, and my, uh, my just mannerisms. And it feels a lot more, they just can see more of you. So now they can buy into you and then say, yes, we would love to have that person on our stage or something like that. So a lot of different things to consider with a podcast. And um, there's another thing, I think it's, uh, well, it's just a quick tangent, but the way I started using podcasts was when I started going for some of my big clients, that's what I would do. I would invite them on my podcast, I would talk to them, and then I would say, hey, you know, just after a few, after we cut, I just wanna talk to you to debrief you. And then I would pitch them right then and there of a service or something where I could help them with their business. But I wouldn't have had that opportunity had I not invited them as a podcast guest because it was a different kind of um, comfortability level after they've spoken to me for 45 minutes on a podcast. Now I'm asking about business. They already know that I'm not sleazy. They already know what kind of person I am. So it was a lot easier to get that transaction and to work with them long term after the podcast. So just some ideas to do that. Now, there are tons of applications how you can use podcasts. So what I want you guys to do in the comments below, ask me any questions what you're dealing with, either technical, how you get started, what kind of tech you need, what kind of mic, what kind of camera, all those kind of things to get you, you started. Uh, in podcasting. And then also, if you're struggling for business ideas, how you can start podcasting right now, comment below and I'll answer every question that's there. So again, Sumalings, until next time, keep crushing it with your business and talk to you soon.